I suspect that my cat will be scratching at the door any second now. <laughs> But you can't guess where I'm sitting. Oh. You guessed. Hey guys, uh, I'm really sorry that uh, it took me so long to get this video up. Um, I've kind of had a lot going on, but I've also kind of been really lazy, <laughs> so I haven't actually pushed myself to make this video, even though um, even though it's a long time coming and I, I really should have posted this about a week ago, a week and a half ago. Um, I've, I have just had a lot of stuff going on and I wanted to let you guys know uh, what's going on because some of it is pretty exciting stuff, some of it's not as exciting, but uh, I figured I should share it with you anyways. Anyways isn't a word. Fact of the day. Anyways isn't a word and people continue to say it. Anyway. First thing, my review videos. I'm not quite sure what's going on with them. I had all those videos edited and I couldn't get the Glee and Grey's Anatomy videos uh, uploaded. I'm not sure why, I don't know if it's a problem with YouTube, I don't know if it's a problem with my video file or whatever. Uh, my Chicago Fire videos were uploading just fine. After the quarterback came on for Glee, the third episode, um, I just, I felt so emotionally wrecked by it that I didn't really want to review it. I just didn't really see a point in doing it anymore um, for Glee, uh, and then it went on hiatus. Uh, White Collar and The Walking Dead are back on, and I've been watching them, but I haven't been writing reviews for them because I've been having these issues with my videos, so I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that. I might just um, do reviews for the season finales of these shows if I do any videos at all, because I'm not sure what's happening with them. I'm uploading other videos just fine. Um, so that's where that's where I am with uh, the review videos. Uh, I don't think that those will be going on anymore. I know you're all so heartbroken by that, but uh, <laughs> I think that's about it with the review videos. So those of you that know me pretty well know that I, I do a lot of writing, um, and I also do acting, which um, really helps uh, to find a voice and to create characters when I'm writing and stuff. And uh, a lot of you also know that I've written quite a few um, movie scripts. Um, I've written plays, um, I've written like fan fiction, but I've never written like real novels before. Um, but my main focus on writing is usually movie scripts. And there's a movie that I'm working on right now. Um, that is really, really close to my heart. I feel like it has um, a really uh, deep and poignant uh, message for a lot of younger people, and I think um, I think you know I think adults can relate to it too. But I'm I'm looking to aim more towards uh, teens and young adults um, with the theme of this movie, I guess. It's really important to me. I've, I've really um, grown to love the characters that I've been writing, and I just love, I love the story. I'm not quite finished with it yet. Um, I do have plans to send uh, not just the script, but the treatment, the film treatment, to uh, a couple of my friends, uh, some of my old teachers and stuff, uh, to critique it before I have it registered with the Writers Guild of America so that I can uh, pitch it to producers because I I have a lot of faith in this script. I think it's the best one I've written out of the eight or nine that I've written since I turned 15. Uh, September of, of 2010 is when I started writing movies, so I had just turned 15. I was 15 for uh, two months, two and a half months maybe, um, and I, I really fell in love with writing scripts and I think I've written eight or nine. Since then, I've learned more of the technical aspect of it. I really feel like the message and the way that I'm um, trying to make it come across is a lot more real. Um, and I feel like a lot of the issues in the movie will be deep-seated deep with a lot of people. So I'm working on the script. It's just about finished. I do plan on making a trailer for the film like I did with my last movie, Courage. 
if you're if you're interested in uh, knowing more about the script, because I don't want to I don't really want to say too much or go into too much detail. I might do a separate video um, uh, going into more detail about it. I don't know that I'll necessarily like read my entire film treatment, but I will. I will probably do a video explaining my movie a little more. So be on the lookout for the film trailer. I have not started filming yet. I haven't even started casting yet. Um, I'll probably I'll probably f start filming uh, December, January ish, somewhere around there. It might be as late as February, but it won't be earlier than December. I'm going to see if maybe, if all goes well, if I can get the right equipment and the right people. I'm thinking about making a shorter version of my film and and shooting um, shooting it as a short film um, because that will give, if when I go to pitch it to producers, it'll give them something else to look at and uh, usually when when writers, when screenwriters pitch their scripts, they have their scripts and the treatment and that's about it. So having a chunk of their movie to present as well uh, is a big bonus if if it's done right. So I need to have the right equipment and the right people and the right team to do it. But I am planning on uh, actually doing something with this film, actually sending it to producers and hoping that it gets uh, hoping it gets greenlit. Who knows where we're gonna go from there? Uh, but I'm really, really excited about it. Uh, I'm really in love with the story. It's the I think it's the best one that I've written. Um, and I think it'll touch a lot of people's hearts. Maybe you'll see it in theaters one day. I decided that I want to apply to become a roadie with Invisible Children. Uh, if you don't know what the Invisible Children uh, organization is, I'll put a link right about here so that you can go to their website and see what they're all about. Um, it's an organization that's really, really close to my heart. I, I uh, support them 100%. And to, to become a roadie and to, to travel the country with other people that have the same, you know, that have the same beliefs and opinions as I do, um, to go around the country and educate uh, kids and teens and young adults about what the organization stands for and and all that would be so great. I get to I get to see the whole country and I get to educate kids, which is something that I I really enjoy doing. So I I've, I've made a video and I've sent it in uh, applying to become a roadie. Uh, I'd be on the road for a few months. Uh, I don't know where it's going to go from there. I haven't heard back from anybody yet, so I'm, I don't know if that's good news or bad news, but fingers crossed that something good comes out of this because um, getting to do this would mean so much to me. Um, and if I did get to do this, I would definitely still be documenting the whole thing. and I'd still be making vlogs and I'd still be sharing my experiences with all of you guys. Uh, so that's something that I'm really excited for in the future if it does happen. So my best friend, who you might recognize from all of my uh, previous videos, uh, is going to be coming back home for a little while uh, in December. So in December, Laura's going to come back home and uh, we're going to do another video with uh, me, her, and Jocelyn, just like old times. She's been going to school uh, in Chicago and she's been doing fantastic and I haven't seen her in oh gosh a little over two and a half months now um, I miss her so much but she's gonna be coming back in December and hopefully I get to have time to do a video with her and share it with all you guys because I'm, I'm super excited to see her I miss her so much she's doing great we still talk um, not as often as I'd like because my phone's been shut off for the last two months and I haven't been able to text her and uh, she's not on Facebook all the time because she's doing all kinds of different classes and being this great, talented little thing that she is. 
around late December. Look out for that video uh, for when she has her little homecoming. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be the best. I'm gonna love it so much. Uh, I'm thinking about going down there to visit. Going down there? Come on, I'm in Florida. I'm thinking about <laughs> going up there uh, to visit maybe January, February-ish, I don't know, sometime, sometime next year, early next year. I'm planning on going to visit her, uh, see how she's doing, and I get to go to Chicago. Like, how awesome is that? Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that video. So the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about um, is something pretty drastic that's uh, going on in my life. It's nothing bad. Um, it's actually really, really good. This is going to be a long story. I'm going to try and make it short. When I was in high school, I always had uh, dreams to go to Los Angeles or New York or one of the bigger cities to start a filmmaking career. Uh, when I was younger, I didn't have the equipment that I would have liked to have um, to become a cinematographer or assistant director or something, something like that. Uh, and I still don't. Uh, I got this camera for my birthday when I turned 15. Uh, and I've just, I've been filming everything with it, everything that I can film because I can't put a camera down when I have it. Um, so throughout my entire high school career I've wanted to make a career, I wanted to start a career making movies, making films, and, and being able to greatly impact people through stories that I've wanted to tell. Uh, in my senior year of high school, which was just this last year, um, I was uh, very, very blessed to have had the opportunity to audition with the New York Film Academy. Um, it was a huge, huge hassle with uh, my friends, my parents, my whole family, um, my teachers, it was just this, this great big thing. Um, I had people that were supporting me 100%, I had people that didn't know if it was such a good idea because, you know, they didn't know if it was going to work out. And, uh, it was just this big hassle. I had to travel to do my audition. Um, and it was, it was, it was hard to, to get there and, uh, long story short, I ended up making the trip to audition, despite the fact that there were people that didn't want me going and, and thought that it was a bad idea, and um, you know, I fought with a lot of people over it because this was something that I really believed in, something that I really wanted to do, and something I wanted to do 100%. So I went down there, I did my audition, and the um, admissions dean or admissions director of the school uh, granted me a scholarship to go to the school and I I could not believe it I was beyond thrilled uh, I had a, I had a show I had a performance uh, at school for one of our plays that day uh, I think I don't know if it was opening night or not but I know I was so nervous because I had to plan my audition very early in the day so that I could make it back in time to do the performance uh, at night, um, and I just I just barely made it. But I, I remember wanting to cry the whole way home because I was so happy uh, that I got the scholarship. Granted, the scholarship that I got wasn't through uh, filmmaking; it was through acting, and uh, I got the scholarship. And the, but the problem was, I this was not a place where I was going to be able to go to school. Uh, it wasn't full tuition. Uh, I wouldn't be able to move there. I wouldn't have a place to stay. I wouldn't have money to have a place to stay. I wouldn't know anybody there. Um, there, there were just so many things that prevented me from being being able to go to the school. Uh, I had a lot of, I. I put a lot of my hopes and dreams on this school and it, it didn't work out. And because it didn't work out, I had thought of instead of going to the New York Film Academy and going to 
the Columbia College of Chicago, uh, which was like right down the road from the school that Laura goes to, um, and that school wouldn't pan out. Uh, I, if that, I thought if that didn't work out, I could go to UNCSA in North Carolina, and that didn't work out. And when I couldn't go there, I would go to UCF right here in Florida. And even that didn't work out because I made a lot of mistakes in high school and there's a lot of things preventing me from going to school. So that's one thing, those of you that are still in high school, stay focused, do your work, do your best, and it'll work out in the end, I promise you, no matter how many nights you stay up studying for a test, it's your safest bet to just do the work because then you'll be stuck in a position that I am where I can't go to school anywhere. However, because I do want to go to school and I do want to make a career, career out of something, what I've decided to do is change my um, career path completely. While I do want to make movies, I do want to impact people, I do want to make films, I don't feel like that's a field that I can go right into right now. I do know that there is a field that I can afford, that's close to home, that I can actually get into, that I would actually enjoy. So what I've decided to do is take classes at a community college that is not far from here um, for elementary education. I've always wanted to work with kids. I love kids to death. Um, and I love teaching people things. So I think I think right now that's my, my safest bet. It's something that I would enjoy. It's something that I would be good at. Um, until I can move into the field that I that I want. I feel like filmmaking is my passion, but it's more of a hobby than a career for me because, you know, it's so one way. I can only do so many things with with that kind of job and, and I could teach so many kids so many things that would that they could use in life and I feel like I I belong there more than I would with filmmaking, so um, I am working toward getting my, uh, right now I have to get my associate's degree in elementary education, but I'm working toward getting my bachelor's of science degree for elementary education, and I'm, I'm super excited about it, so that's something that I'm going to be focusing a lot of my attention on, uh, so fingers crossed that it all works out, um, this is something that I'm really going to put all my effort into, so I hope you guys support me while I go through that because it's going to be a long, long ride. So again, sorry that it took so long to upload this. Um, I'd like to say it won't happen again, but it's probably going to happen again, let's be honest. I'll try to keep you guys posted on everything that's going on. I'll try to upload videos more often. Hopefully stuff that you guys are interested in and not, you know, crap. Love you guys. I'll. See you in the next video, which will be soon, I hope. Let's not have a repeat here and take three weeks to upload a video.